Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, thanks so Hello. much for joining. My name is Misty, and life. if you want to be part of the Raven family, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified when a new episode goes live on the channel. Today I am bringing you a new episode of our Decades Legacy Challenge, and as you can see, we are just here with our O'Hara family. Our kids are just gathered out front here. They have just returned home from school today, and they are just doing a little bit of homework. We're just going to go ahead and get them in the house and let them take care of a little bit of their needs here. And as you can see, our parents are just out here getting a little bit of intimate dancing together. They are absolutely precious. They are so very much in love and <laughs> thrilled as can be at the news of their expecting little one that they have coming through soon. So we absolutely love that for us. As we know, Gemma is expecting and she is in her first trimester and is expected to come into her second trimester soon. She is just going to go ahead and go through here and play a little bit of music on her banjo. As we know, she absolutely loves to play some music and so she's just gonna head upstairs and do a little bit of playing. And Liam here is feeling super flirty after dealing with Gemma, and so we love that. He gets super flirty when she's around, but he needs to go to the washroom. So Liam, go ahead and head yourself into the bathroom here, sir, and let's let you have a little go at the toilet here. The children are, like I said, just dealing with a little bit of their needs, and then they're doing some homework. As we know, it is the end of the depression in this episode, which we love. It could not have come sooner, and so that is perfect timing. We can finally stop worrying about how many meals that we need to count throughout the day as far as is this our hot meal of the day or not and things of that nature we are still going to be taking care of these chickens and probably still letting them do the gardening for just a little while just because it is probably going to be a little bit of time before we can get up enough money to be able to afford a gardener full-time i would say liam will be able to go ahead and get a job again and so once he starts bringing in some cash then we will look at maybe possibly getting their gardener back. But for now, we'll just let the family continue to tend to the garden on their own. So as you can see, Edmund just needs to go ahead and get himself a bath. So we're gonna let him go ahead and get into the bathtub. And what about you, sir? What is it that you would like to do now? And he's just like, well, I still haven't gone to the bathroom. Is there a reason, sir, why you've not gone to the bathroom? <laughs> probably because there is a gazillion children in this house and so he has to fight for the bathroom because poor poor Liam has a daughter that was just laying in there sleeping in the tub <laughs> so he's finally made it to the washroom and as you can see Gemma has come down so she can go ahead and weed some of her plants and as you can see she absolutely loves dealing with the gardening so i don't think that having to do it and not hiring a gardener is really going to upset her too too badly she actually enjoys it quite a bit <clears throat> except for when that happens when the bees happen maybe not <laughs> maybe not so much the bees and her typically get along but um they're in a bit of a mood today so they're <laughs> that's not ideal Oh yes, and of course, she is feeling a little bit embarrassed. Norma did get walked in on by her dad, but he was like, could you please not sleep in the tub? Edmund, I think you're good. Go ahead and get yourself out of the bath there, son. It is time for you to get out. So we are just going to go ahead and let Liam go in here into the living room. I'm going to get him to do a little painting and we'll get Gemma to deal with the bees a little bit. Although it does look like she needs to go to the washroom really badly, so we'll actually go ahead and let her do that because we know that she's pregnant and probably needs to go really, really badly. So we'll let her go ahead and go in the house and go to the washroom. And it does look like Booker here is just going to go ahead and work on a little bit of his homework. So that is absolutely perfect and we love that. I absolutely love that the children do work on their homework on their own pretty you know much without being asked so that is great for everyone involved 
and it also helps us out quite a bit that they also typically end up cleaning up after one another and themselves um, which is great so that being said you know Joseph leaves his plate behind well in most cases they do clean up after themselves but it would seem by this very second they're not doing that but they are doing their homework and so we will let them do that because we definitely want them getting their studies up and getting good grades at school and so it does look like all of them are sitting down right now to do their homework together as a group and so that's perfect Liam is just gonna come on in here and mentor them a little bit and help with their homework and while he's doing that Gemma is just going to come in here into the living area and she's going to play a little bit of her piano just to relax and have a little bit of fun because we know that she absolutely loves doing that and everyone is just having a pretty good day a pretty good evening I guess and they're getting their homework done he is being a great dad and helping his kids with their homework and it is overall just a really pleasant evening with the family and I absolutely love to see this with him helping his kids with their studies as they all sit down together and it is really just a wholesome wholesome moment that this family is going through right this second and I am here for it and he is becoming good friends with them as he helps them with their homework and Gemma is just in here playing her music not a care in the world and we love it and Gemma has decided that she is going to go ahead and come on in here and help with some of the kids and their homework as well. So she's just going to come on in and she's going to help Edmund with his homework as well and give him a little bit of some help. And she's just like, how's the studying going and is there anything that I can help you with? And he is just doing his homework with a little bit of help from mom. And she's like, you've got this. I really know that, you know, you can handle this. But, you know, she's just talking him up. And we know that she absolutely loves when she helps her kids. And she feels really confident when she does that. And as you can see, she is feeling very confident right now. And... The other children are, you know, just doing not only, oh, last recess no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. Oh, well, just ask for, you know, someone to play with you. You know, that's all you have to do, she says. And he's like, well, mom, you know, sometimes it's not that easy. And she's like, it is easy. You just have to ask someone if they want to play with you. That's all. And his conflict resolution is gone up, so we love that. So we're actually going to go ahead and get her to come over here and just serve a little bit of dinner. We're going to have her fix a little bit of faux meat casserole once she's done dancing with her husband because they are over here just dancing together again. These two are the cutest thing ever. They just absolutely love to be dancing together. It has something to do with the fact that she loves music as much as she does. I think she is just... <laughs> If she's not playing music, they're dancing to the music. Uh, and it may even be just the music in her head. But either way, there's constantly some kind of music-related things going on in this family. So the house is a wreck right now. The fridge is on the fritz. And poor Liam is like, oh my god, it's so nasty. I've been trying to do harm for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Well, you just spend more time. Practice makes perfect. And his responsibility has increased. So... Edmund is clearly feeling down on his studies, so it's a good thing that Gemma helped him with his homework, but she is now telling him, look, I understand you're struggling, but really you just have to spend more time practicing at anything that you are doing, no matter what it is, the more you practice, the better you're going to get. You know, you have to practice at things, and, and that's it. With anything that you put your mind to, the more you practice at it, the better you're going to get. Just like my piano. Did you think that I was really good at it when I first started? Well, of course not. But the more I practice, the better I get. The same is going to go for your studies. So she's obviously giving really good advice to Edmund, and we absolutely are here for that. I love that this family is so into helping one another and giving these loving, you know, <laughs> talks. She is ruining that food. But we pr will pretend like we didn't see that, Gemma. We will totally just look the other way. Um, we'll just look the other way. So she's going to finish up and poor Liam has had to come in here and fix this plumbing and we are just like, 
oh, this house is just falling apart. Every time we turn around, something is broken and he's having to fix something. I really hate that for him. But she's gone ahead and she's grabbed herself a serving of this meat casserole. And then she's going to have to go ahead and clean up that counter because it's pretty gross. And we know that, you know, Liam doesn't like a messy home. But if any of the children are hungry, they're just going to go ahead and come on in here and get themselves a plate. And these two are going to go back to romantically dancing because, <laughs> hey, why not? You know, hey, why not? That is what they do. They are the cutest couple ever. And, you know, I never thought I would think that. I thought that, you know, no one could surpass Cora and Frederick in my mind. But Gemma and Liam are a close, close second because they are really a holding, you know, a special place in my heart. As time goes by, they are really, really special to me. And I love their relationship and their dynamic. And I think they are just the sweetest thing ever. And, oh my goodness, she's like... <laughs> just attacks him with a kiss <laughs> okay Gemma calm down but it is getting pretty late it's about 12 42 a.m. and so I am gonna go ahead and get everyone um, heading heading off to bed because they do need to go ahead and get themselves into bed here it is getting really really late it is a school night so everyone needs to go ahead and get themselves into bed and Gemma, oh my goodness. Everyone needs to get to bed. So we will go ahead and get everyone's needs taken care of if they need to eat or use the washroom or anything like that. And then we will get everyone into bed. And then I will catch back with you guys in the morning. It is the next morning. And as you can see, Gemma is up and she is just grabbing herself a little bit to eat here. And Liam is just dusting himself off and checking the mail here. And it is, like I said, about what, six o'clock in the morning. So it is bright and early and they are just taking care of their needs. It is the end of the depression officially. And we absolutely love that. And they are just spending their time here on this, you know, day. It's not necessarily a holiday, but I did put it in the calendar that, you know, it was the end of the depression just to mark it that we would know the depression is officially over. They can go back to normal. Leon here is just going ahead and getting himself his job back. We are going to be able to get him back on to his um, engineering job so that he can go ahead and get back to work, which he is absolutely thrilled about, especially considering the fact that he knows he has another baby on the way. He is definitely worried about the fact that he's not going to be able to provide for his family. And so he definitely wants to be working as fast as possible so that he can bring money in. You know, he really did enjoy the time with the family here, you know, being around and things like that. But he knows that gardening and growing some crops is not going to provide for the family the way his job would. It's not 1890 any longer. So he knows that he needs to get back to work. And so he is definitely wanting to go ahead and get his job back. So he's thrilled about the fact that he can go ahead and start back up to work again as soon as possible. And, you know, he is just thinking, you know, this is great news and I can't wait until I can get back out there again. And, you know, he's thrilled as he goes around. He's just gonna go ahead and help Gemma around the house here. He's cleaning up, doing a little bit of the wash, and he's like, this is great news. It's fantastic. I love the fact that, you know, I'm going to be able to provide for everyone. I'm not going to have to worry about it. Gemma's not going to have to worry. She's just going to be able to be here with the kids and taking care of the home again, and we're not going to have to worry. We're not going to have to struggle. And so Liam is really in a good place mentally, and Gemma is, you know, I think probably happy that Liam is happy, but as we know, Gemma was really starting to get used to the fact of having Liam around. And we do know that once, once Liam goes back to work, you know, he's not going to be around a whole, whole lot. Like he works a lot and he walks, works long, long hours when he's working. And so I think she will miss him when he's gone, but she also knows that it's something that he needs to do to help take care of this family because they do have a large family. 
So she is really happy for him that he's happy about this and she knows it's the right thing for their family. But I think she also knows that it, it means she's going to see Liam, uh, you know, less than she has gotten used to seeing him. And the children here are just coming down for the morning and they are grabbing themselves something to eat because it is the end of the depression and it's marked as a holiday for the day. They do have the day off and so everyone is just going to spend the day together here and they are going to band together to clean up around the house for the day and they are going to do the gardening and they're going to do all of the things that they would do on any other, you know, day that wasn't a school, that, you know, was a school day or, you know, they're just going to do those kind of things, um, because it's a holiday. <clears throat> so like if it were a weekend and they didn't have school, they would do those sorts of things. So they'll play chess or they'll play with their toys uh, and they'll do their chores and things of that nature. So they'll just spend a day with the family as a family and that will be that. And so they're just having some breakfast together here together. And she is just thinking to herself, you know, this is actually, you know, going to be, you know, it'll be different. It's not going to be like this anymore. You know, Liam's not going to be around to have breakfast with us in the morning. Or, you know, everyone's going to be rushing out the door to go to school and work. And they're not going to be able to be slow paced and sitting down and have breakfast together. And she's, you know, she's thinking about this to herself and thinking, you know, that slow paced life that she's kind of gotten used to is all about to change again. And just thinking about that, it's got her pondering and she's going to go ahead and go on upstairs. She wants to go play a little bit of music, but I think once she's done with that, we're just going to have her go on, come out and take care of some of these chores because as we know, the chickens need to be fed and the coops need to be cleaned and the garden needs to be tended to because unfortunately, these things can't take care of themselves. So we're just gonna get everyone out here taking care of these chores together. And it does look like Merida and Manuel finally had their baby. They had themselves a baby boy. It looks like the, the notification said. So we have one more little boy that has joined in the family tree and we will, once he ages up to a toddler, do a makeover and obviously once we do another family update, you guys will see that child, which will be lovely. But for the time being, we are just going to be going ahead and finishing up with the chores here and taking care of our animals. We don't want our animals running off, so we have to make sure we have cleaned this coop and collected the eggs and done everything we need to do. And it looks like Edmund wants to like mischief, so we will allow that to happen. Yay for us. All the children are upstairs. They are just having a good little time up here in their playroom. They are drawing and playing some chess and just having a really good time and we love that for them. We really do. Obviously our adults here are just kind of cleaning up and taking care of things. Someone said eating dirt was okay. If you eat dirt, they're going to pick on you, Liam has told Norma. And she's like, oh, okay. Norma likes to eat everything. She doesn't really care what it is. And so I assume that if she thought she could eat dirt and it would be okay, she probably would. So that child, when she gets hungry, she really doesn't mind what it is. So I could totally see her trying to get away with eating dirt. But as you can see, Gemma here is just cleaning up after the family and she is just picking up and Liam is come in here and he is cleaning up as well. The adults are cleaning and the children are playing. Isn't that just the way it goes? But as it were, we are just going to have Gemma here go ahead and cook up some food here and we will have Liam go ahead and finish picking up and doing some more chores around the house. She is just making, it looks like some grilled cheese. We love that. We do. And now everyone is into bed having some sleep. So I will catch up with you in the morning. It is bright and early about one o'clock in the morning. Gemma is up. She is just going to have herself a bath. She's feeling really, really dirty. 
Once her bath is over with, we're going to go ahead and let her get herself a bite to eat because she's also very, very hungry. And we also have Booker up and he's feeling quite hungry as well. So we're going to let him come on down and get himself something to eat as well. So these two are up and they are just, you know, hungry in the middle of the night for whatever reason. So they're just going to go ahead and get themselves some food here out of the fridge and have some little leftovers here. Today is their birthday, Booker and Joseph's birthday. And so Gemma is going to need to go ahead and fix them a cake. But first is, you know, that she needs to definitely get something in her belly because she is starving. So what we'll do is go ahead and let her get some food after her bath. He is scarfing that food down. Oh, it was French toast that she was making. So he just ate that French toast like it was nobody's business. He was like, okay, that was really good. That hit the spot. And he is feeling much better now. And he's just going to clean up after himself. And we love, love, love that. He's such a good little boy. He really, really is. Thank you so much, Booker. And his manners are going up. And we love that. And she's like, good morning, Booker. And he's like, morning, Mom. And she's like, it's 2 a.m., son. Why are you up? And he was like, oh, my gosh, Mom, I was starving. But, you know, I was dreaming about your French toast. I just couldn't help myself. And she's like, oh. And he's like, I'm just going to take the trash out. And she's like, well, thank you so much, Booker. So she has grabbed herself a plate of this French toast as well. Everybody, the French toast is a freaking hit. So she's just going to have some of this French toast as well. And Booker is just out here taking out the trash because he is a good little boy. And then he's going to go ahead and collect the eggs for the day, which we love. So he is definitely working on his manners and responsibility. And that is wonderful news for everyone. And we do have ourselves an egg here that we'll go ahead and toss in the fridge. And that's perfect. And then, Gemma, honey, you are going to need to go ahead and make a cake. And she's like, I'm on it. Perfect. So she's going to go ahead and get the ingredients here. We're going to make a cake for our boys. It is their birthday today. And they will be aging up into teenagers. I cannot believe that they are already aging up to teenagers. But alas, here we are. So they are going to be aging up, which we absolutely love. Spinning that bowl around like she's the pro. I don't think you're actually a pro at cooking, but you are getting much better, and I'm so proud of you for it. And she's like, yeah, I'm getting much better at this cooking thing. It is becoming quite simple for me these days. I am actually enjoying it quite immensely. So she's just making this cake while she spends time with Booker. You know, some mornings, her and Booker really, really get their quality time in. They have really, really gotten to where they spend a lot of their mornings together while she's cooking with them, spending time talking and carrying on with one another. So we absolutely love seeing them together in the mornings. Go ahead, dear, and put some candles on this cake. You know how you Sims are about cake. So we'll get her to add some birthday candles here. She's like, I have to finish this conversation first before I do that. But we'll add some candles. Perfect. And then when it gets a little bit later on here, oh, she needs to go to the bathroom really badly. But when it gets a little bit later on and there are a couple of people more that are up for the day milling around the house, then we will go ahead and have Booker and Joseph blow out their candles so that they can go ahead and, oh my goodness, let's go ahead and start getting people up. I think that they need their needs taken care of desperately. They are all in pretty rough shape. I know it's really early in the morning, but... A lot of their needs are in the red, and so we will go ahead and start getting people up. And then we will also age up Booker and Joseph and turn them into their teenage selves and give them their makeovers. So we will let them have their breakfast and things of that nature, and then they'll be able to age up. Look at him. He's like, oh my god, mom made French toast. Yes, this is the greatest day ever. Everyone loves the French toast. It is really, really a hit. So if you look at the calendar here, today is Joseph and Booker's birthday, and tomorrow is Norma and Lindsay's birthday. So we have a lot going on. Also, tomorrow we should be having a baby with, um, like, Gemma should be having her baby. 
So in today's episode is the end of the depression and we will be having the um, birthdays of our boys. We are in our second trimester um, with Gemma. So we will be doing that. Um, just the boys' birthdays today. And then in our next episode, we will be having the birthdays of Lindsay and Norma. And we will also be having a baby being born. So we will be splitting this up because otherwise this episode is going to be extremely too long um, for us to have all of those things happening um, because it's already starting to get a little bit long now as it is. But yeah, I can't believe that everybody is starting to age up into teenagers and then she's also about to have a brand new baby. We're about to have everybody as teens um, with the exception of Edmund and then she's about to start all over again. Like, I can't believe that. But he is going to go ahead and blow out his candles here. Happy birthday, no. Booker. It is your birthday and you are becoming a teenage boy oh, and no. I can't believe it. So it is Booker's birthday and he has aged up. We are going to go ahead and randomize one, two, and three. And he is a dancer. Well, he comes by that honest. So we are going to go ahead and give him, I think we should give him the um, trait of, or the aspiration of, um, I'm going to do, I don't know. Maybe I'll do all-rounder. No, I don't want to do all-rounder. I think I'm going to give him a family one. Let's do family for him. Sims with the family long to be a part of a big, happy family. That sounds like something Booker would like. All right, and we will give him his makeover after we age up Joseph. We'll do their makeovers, obviously, together. So we'll go ahead and get Joseph to come down and we will get Joseph to come blow out these candles. And then Joseph will also age up into a teenager. And these two are over here just as usual dancing. And so, you know, it doesn't really surprise me at all that one of their kids would have got the dancing trait because honestly, that's all those two do is dance. So yeah, I think it makes perfect sense that one of their kids would be into dancing. I think that makes absolutely perfect sense. It really, really does. All right, Joseph, where are you, sweet boy? Come on down. It is time for your birthday and for you to blow out these candles. There you are. Okay. And it is time. Go ahead and blow out the candles. Happy birthday, Joseph. And yeeted him somewhere, but he is aged up. And let's one, two, and three. And he got sleepy. And so he's going to um, fall asleep a lot, like almost like narcolepsy. And then his other trait, I am going to give him cheerful. And then for his aspiration, I'm going to give him the master chef. All right, and we are going to go ahead and jump into Cass and give them their makeovers. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. And so this is Booker after his makeover, and this is what he looks like. And you can really see a lot of Gemma in him. But I mean, I do see a little bit of Liam, obviously, in the boys. But... You can see a lot of his mom. And these are his outfits. And I think they turned out really, really cute. And let's go ahead and take a look at Joseph now. And this is Joseph. He really, really reminds me of his mother a lot. <laughs> and this is his everyday outfit. And let's take a look at the rest of his outfits as well. So his formal and his athletic, his sleepwear, his party and his swim, his hot weather and his cold weather. And that's our boys. And if we're back in the game here, and as you can see, they are just talking with their dad and their mom here. 
and they look so great, I think, and yeah, I'm just really, really glad that they have turned out as well as they have. The boys are absolutely great, and I think that it's going to be a lot of fun watching them. They have automatically started working on their homework, which we love. I love that as even teenagers, these two have automatically decided to go ahead and start working on their studies without even being asked. That makes me super thrilled to know that their studies from elementary or grade school is going to go on into their high school years. And it is going to be really exciting to see the girls age up in our next episode and for us to go ahead and have us a baby. But I think I am going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are notified when a new episode goes live. And I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, I am going to go ahead and fly for now. Bye, Ravens.